guys, one today's Google Garage Sale finds. Today's finds are going to be from the. If I remember right, this is from the Xenia. But I'm just going to call it Dayton at most. The Dayton Goodwill. Across from scene 75. Um, the reason why we decided to go there is like, well, it's been a while since we last been there. And. Figure might as well want to go there while it's nice out before it starts raining. So I'm gonna show off my finds. And there's some of my finds from Michael. Still, you know. Michael found this. Um, believe it or not, no, this is not a baby toy, but uh, this is actually a puzzle game. I'm really trying <laughs> not to wake him up. It's like. 1.32 in the morning. But basically you roll this little ball around here you on know, this little puzzle thing and the ball. It looks pretty interesting. Um this was one I know. Uh next, one of the finds I actually found is this Simba. It looks slightly older from the other Disney, uh, uh, Simba's I actually found, so I'm not exactly sure what year this would be from. For the Simba, I actually end up paying 99 cents for him. I'm not sure if he's rare. Um, I mean, yeah, he has a little bit of, well, he's been used, obviously, but he's in good condition. Um, doesn't say a year for the Simba apparently, but it looks like he had the old Disneyland tag logo at some point. I don't know if this is the old Disneyland logo, but it does say Disneyland, Disney World. That's Tush tag there. So, here's Simba. They had a large Simba. Um, I think I have the larger one that I actually found there at Goodwill. Um, next, I end up finding this Santa Claus duck. Michael said that I should get this for a decoration piece for Christmas time. And it doesn't seem scratched up or anything. Looks fine. Um, I actually painting. Painting, um, paying 79 cents for the duck. Next, um, a pull on their stuffed animal I found is this build a bear. Um, this build a bear, if I remember right, is the build a bear cocker spaniel. And it looks like one too. I'd have to do more research, but uh, this one apparently has its collar still, and it's not one of the newer Promise Pets, so it's slightly older. Right before Build a Bear changed her Promise Pets. Um, I mean, I'm not positive this is Promise Pets, but I know it's Build a Bear because I can actually see the Build a Bear tag right here, which has. My name is, and then you write down the name of your pet. Um, it has its touch tag. I'm just gonna have to uh, pull this part up to show it. And yeah, and she did come with clothes. Give me a minute. I have to pull off the pants in order to do this. Here we go. Build a bear workshop. So this is a slightly older Build-A-Bear. Um, I'm not sure if the Build-A-Bear is like this one is rare. I can't get the tail to fit back in. Oh wait, here we go. We got stuck on something apparently. But um, I actually ended up paying... Uh, let me find a price on it. Here we go. Three nine nine for this build bear. So here's another uh, build bear I actually found. 
Um, next, one of the finds I actually found, well, I didn't find, Michael actually found this, but, um, is this airplane. Oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> Whoops. But, um, he found this Tonka airplane, which was 89 cents. I mean, yeah, it's going to need some new paint. Looks in a little bit of rough shape, but he said that he's going to find some paint somewhere and fix it up. And obviously he got it because it was purple and he likes planes. And this is Federal. And this is his find. So he found that. Um, next. One of the finds I actually end up finding at Goodwill is wrapped up because I don't want it to be broken. Just give me a minute. Okay, I got it. Is this Winnie the Pooh picture frame? Um, you guys are probably thinking, wait, you already have a Winnie the Pooh picture frame. But it's, it doesn't look like the one I actually have. That's the thing. The one I have is slightly different. If you were to look at some of my uh, room tour vlogs, it should be in there somewhere in the background. But this has Pooh, Tigger with a honey pot, Eeyore, and Piglet. And you put a little picture in here. Um... I mean, yeah, this part here is a little, like, roughed up, but it's not too bad. I could still use it to put pictures in it. The picture frame I ended up paying was for two fifty nine. Next, one of the finds I found is this wind-up toy. Which is 49 cents, and you probably recognize it. It's like, oh my gosh, it's a little foot from Land Before Time. Um, he still works, for those who are wondering. I mean, there's times where he'll stop at random and stop walking, but I think that's going to probably be because from play use. If I remember right, you gotta do this in order to get him to work. He starts walking. Yeah, you can slightly tell that he's been used from play use, but I'm going to display him. So I found Littlefoot. Uh, next, I found is this Walt Disney World autograph book. This is in perfect condition. Doesn't seem damaged or whatnot. Um, it's 89 cents. Now, you probably guys that are thinking, oh, there's probably autographs in it already. Actually, believe it or not, this is unused. And if I were to open the book, there's no name, there's no address on it. Um, it looks like it was never used. So, really, the pages are blank. And I can take this to Disney World whenever I go there again and use it. So, perfect find uh, um, because Michael and I uh, were talking about going to Disney World at some point. So, 89 cents, like I said, how much I paid for it. Uh, next, Michael and I actually found this, believe it or not. There's one more find in here, which I don't think I'm going to show off. Yeah, I'm not going to show it off, because I already have it. But this last find was actually pretty amazing to find, believe it or not. Um, it is Pokemon related. And it's this Pokemon Battle Arena, I think, I'm not sure. I know it's not the big round one where you put the figures in, uh, like, there and there, and then they battle each other, 
So I'm not exactly sure what kind of battle arena this is. I'm gonna have to look this up and see what it is. Um, it does work. I mean, it just needs probably just needs new batteries because when he turned it on in the store, it sounded like the batteries were running out of juice. But this is the Pokemon Battle Arena. Um, looks like it has some kind of feature at the bottom or whatnot. You put like a figure on top and you move them around or whatnot. It has buttons here. There's a Pokemon logo. So like I said, I'm not positive what this is. If anyone has an idea what this could possibly be, uh, tell me in the comments. Fortunately, there were no figures in the store. And you can move this around as well. Believe it or not, this was actually in not in rough shape. I mean, yeah, there's like some very small like marks right here and like a big mark on the bottom but that's not too bad it has a battery compartment and everything and the on and off switch right here um, I actually ended up paying $1.99 for this so like I said I'm actually gonna do some research and see what this is uh, actually is to find out if this is actually a battle arena or what or whatnot if any of you guys have an idea as what this could possibly be, um, tell me in the comments. Because Mike and I weren't sure what this actually was, so we're trying to figure it out still. But anyways, that is Michael and my finds from the Dayton slash Xenia Goodwill. I'm not sure if it's from Xenia, honestly. I'll get right one of these days, but, um, today's best finds would have to be the Pokemon, uh, thing right here, which I think it's a battle arena, I'm just gonna call it that, um, the unused uh, Walt Disney World autograph book, the Simba right here, it's only on the picture frame, unfortunately, um, Littlefoot, the picture frame I found and the Cocker Spaniel Build-A-Bear. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Google Garazzo finds. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.